Hi Cubies, here's Alexandra and welcome to another video. Today I want to show you um, my part of uh, my pile of shame I have accumulated over the last year by collecting uh, the Warner 40k Imperium magazine. Well, uh, yesterday I uh, grabbed the final uh, episode or uh, issue of this magazine uh, and, well, I will show you what I have collected over the uh, last year. I uh, haven't been able to uh, paint a lot uh, of my Necrons. The Necrons I have painted are from uh, the Indomitos era. Uh, where I have uh, one squad of uh, warriors, then uh, a leader, uh, some scarabs, uh, a tomb spider, and um, a an reanimator. Then I bought myself a an doomstalker, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, so my Necron army is not very big, but it could be very big, because uh, I will show you now my pile of shame. Uh, from the Necron side of say, things uh, of this uh, collection. I still have a lot of uh, terrain and uh, Space Marine stuff, but uh, to that we come in a different video. Uh, let's start with uh, some warriors and some warriors and uh, then uh, again some warriors and uh, <coughs> Yeah, I've collected uh, a lot of uh, Necron Warriors, uh, also um, I have uh, unpackaged here uh, two sprues of Warriors. That's the first part. <coughs> then we come... Uh, well, you see, I have uh, bought myself uh, sometimes severals uh, of one issue. For example, this here. This is uh, the one with the flayed ones. I've bought this Two times? No, not two times. I bought that thing three times. <laughs> so, uh, I couldn't resist for uh, just 10 euro uh, for this magazine, and uh, those are basically uh, worth 50 euros uh, a piece. And uh, yeah, I have now uh, three squads of uh, five flayed ones. Uh, then, of course, uh, the entire thing uh, started with the first issue with a Royal Warden. So we have him. Then, uh, later in uh, the issues, we had here uh, one uh, Necron Lord with a Scythe and Regeneration Sphere. <coughs> then, uh, in a different issue, we had here... Uh, this is, I believe, the um, Chronomancer... Or Psychmancer? I don't know. One of the Mancers. <laughs> the one with the, uh, with the cubical uh, box in his hand and uh, the tentacle legs. I think it was the Chronomancer. So, uh, then... What else? Uh, next character model is this here. This is a Cryptek. Here, yeah, still in package. <coughs> Side. Then what do we have here? Oh, here's another uh, pack of Necron Warriors uh, and another pack of Necron Warriors, of course. So I could uh, throw you uh, lots of Warriors at your head if you want. Then we have here, this is part of the Annihilation Barge. Yeah, here is the second part. Uh, or the uh, Command Barge, if you like. <coughs> Then next up we got here, this is uh, one of the um, Locusta Destroyers. Uh, then we have here uh, a set of uh, Lich Guard. This came in two issues, uh, one with this, one with that. Then we have a set of... Uh, here, um, destroyers, the, uh, how are they called? Uh, the Scarab Destroyers, I think. Yeah. Uh, I also have a build one version from uh, the Indominus set. <coughs> then we have another Tomb Spider. I have already one built and painted for my army downstairs. 
Uh, then we have here. Uh, ah, this was uh, the final uh, episode. This was uh, Illuminarch Zareth, the character model. Very cool. And uh, the final piece, the resistance, is yet another Tomb Spider. So uh, I have three times this issue. So, uh, yeah, what do I say uh, overall for uh, this haul? For uh, the Imperium magazine overall? Uh, yeah, um, I would totally do that again. The magazine itself is uh, nice for beginners. It has a little bit of fluff. It's an uh, interesting read. Uh, not much to read, uh, but uh, the one... The few stories that are inside here are worth reading. It's really, really nice. But uh, the important issue is the price factor, as you can see here, $9.99 for uh, one issue. It got a little bit more expensive in the later issues. Uh, I believe it was uh, 11 euro and something. Uh, but nevertheless, it's uh, definitely worth it uh, to buy those uh, issues. Only for uh, the Necron part, if you uh, only want uh, one part of the uh, entire collection, uh, if you can uh, find um, yeah, the uh, Hushet Parchworks uh, magazines in your area, then I would totally recommend it. Um, there are several uh, versions uh, how you could uh, order this magazine. I, for example, I had my uh, local uh, kiosk here and uh, they ordered the magazines and uh, uh, shipped them, uh, well, they uh, arrived at the uh, store and uh, at the kiosk and they uh, kept them for me and uh, I could then pick them up and I could uh, say, okay, I don't want uh, this or that uh, um, a magazine and uh, they would not uh, hold that magazine then back and uh, put it into uh, the display so that other other customers could buy them potentially uh, or they would uh, just send them back um, yeah and I could uh, also order several uh, versions if I want one specific number in uh, several quantities that was a, a very nice uh, option to have if you don't have uh, a kiosk or uh, um, um, Lotto uh, uh, or magazine uh, commercial uh, building <laughs> vendor uh, near you, you could also uh, just simply uh, um, do the delivery service from uh, Hazard Parchworks. Um, with that, you don't have uh, the option to choose several um, magazines, obviously. Uh, you could just uh, collect them and sell them off on eBay. They uh, go for a little bit over uh, the price of uh, what you pay. So, for example, uh, this episode here uh, with uh, some miniatures in them would go normally for around 15 euros plus shipping on eBay. eBay. <coughs> yeah, uh, this um, collection is uh, basically a Warhammer for a quarter of the price. And I can uh, highly, highly recommend that. Um, for the last uh, two and a half years, I have not uh, bought a single miniature from uh, Games Workshop directly, um, only uh, through this magazine, and uh, I'm totally happy about that. Uh, the normal prices from Games Workshop are, uh, for me, not uh, bearable anymore, and I will not buy any Games Workshop models uh, directly from Games Workshop in the future anymore. Only through those uh, magazines. I hope uh, they will bring uh, Warhammer <coughs> uh, Mortal Rams or Warhammer... Uh, uh, how's the other called? Um, 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 um. The name uh, is escaping me right now. There's, there's uh, a fourth uh, version. I also uh, had the uh, Warhammer... Uh, Conquest magazine before that, and uh, I was uh, also really impressed with that. In the Imperium magazine, um, there were not so many Space Marines. Uh, it was more uh, Sisters of Battle and um, Adeptus Mechanicus. I uh, hold back on those. <clears throat> I didn't uh, purchase all those, but uh, I also bought uh, me several uh, issues of terrain, obviously. So here, for example, you can see... Uh, this here is uh, 
um, one of the uh, reactors and uh, here for example one of the pipelines and uh, you have seen videos uh, of me where I showed you my uh, basement where I've uh, built my um, big gaming board and uh, yeah they have uh, used all the uh, ones uh, here these ones here <clears throat> I've bought uh, several of those <clears throat> and uh, yeah I've uh, built a gaming board with that yeah I uh, hope you uh, like this little interview in my uh, pile of shame of my Necron army uh, and oh um, I totally forgot one uh, one package uh, here the um, uh, the um, how they called immortals uh, a five pack of those uh, I'm currently painting them <laughs> yeah this was also in there I hope we see us in the next video uh, leave a like down there if you so please and uh, if you want to uh, support my channel you can leave a super thanks uh, with maybe uh, two or three bucks or one or two or however you like if you like and uh, we see us in the next video Thank you for watching and bye.